The final day saw the arrival of three sharks. Oh, he's huge! Look at the size of him! This is kind of crazy out here now. Now the team began to notice a change. The white tips were becoming bolder and more aggressive. Their courage seemed to be buoyed by the presence of the other sharks. Worse still, it was becoming impossible to keep track of all three sharks at once, and soon the white tips began to show more than just curiosity towards the divers. Some sharks investigate potential prey by bumping it before they attack. Rick recognized the signs. It was time to leave. He was surrounded and knew the boat had to get to him fast. That was too intense. The one took, one had my fin, was, one had my fin was hitting it. I was filming one, the other was just, oh, excuse me. It was down to Doug to get the final shots and get out before his nice little dogs turned really nasty. That's enough for me. So I'm getting out where the getting's good. <laughs> that shark's getting very electric and hot. I tell you, he's got a mouth like that that can take your leg off. Fabulous animal. But, uh, it's into its feeding mode now and wants to eat, and I don't want to be part of it. For Doug, there was always just one more shot to get. But concentrating on what was in front of him meant he couldn't see what was creeping up behind. And when one of the cruising sharks changed to attack speed, it was definitely time to get out and join Rick in the safety of the boat before it was too late. That was very exciting, it was great. They seemed a lot more interested than uh, Rick. I think it's his suit. <laughs> Let's go find a bottle of rum, huh? <laughs> the oceanic white tips had allowed the Planet Earth team a rare insight into their world. Now it was time to leave these magnificent animals in peace. <laughs>